do 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 stepping into the light good morning good morning how are you today it is um 32 degrees fahrenheit on friday november the 18th 2022 it is 4 55 a.m and i am full of gratitude yes indeed how are you? I started off my gratitude list with the foundation six. Yes, you build a foundation first, then you build your dwelling. The foundation is there to support the weight of that existence. Yes, exactly. And um, my foundation are as follows. My family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health and my union job. And from there I elaborate. And, uh, oh, I had a good night's sleep. And I'm wearing some funny heart monitor. And I slept fine with it, I guess. Um, I got up at 2.30 to pee and I couldn't get back to sleep. Uh, so I watched the Jack Show. <laughs> they got an extra hour of Jack Show. Ooh. I'm grateful for the Jack Show. Yeah, I'm grateful for Cecil. I'm grateful for Anna. I'm grateful for John. I'm grateful for Kelsey when he shows his ass up. I'm grateful for Ethan. Grateful for, for Shane. Grateful for Chokeout. <laughs> and the entire gang that ends up in the live chats. And um, <clears throat> it's just fun goofs, dirty jokes, ribald behavior, stuff, you know, like, you know, stuck up people get really offended about. And we need to keep we need to keep our offensive sense of humor. I'm sorry. Jeez. I, I'm grateful for my sense of humor. I got a sense of humor from my grandfather. My grandfather, Joseph Patrick O'Sullivan of uh, Kerry, Ireland. He came over here, <clears throat> met a wife, another Irish woman, had kids. It was a house. He bought two houses. Very successful. He's my embodiment in the American dream. And uh, I wish I could be more like him. I couldn't have been if I made choices. But um, and as always, as always, we are grateful for the boss. Boss, 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 boss. Oh, boy. But I'm a funny guy. I make funny jokes. I make bad jokes. I make dirty jokes. I make clever, witty observations. I'm scatological. I'm satirical. I'm, I'm sensational. <laughs> But um, all the same, yeah, I, um, I like funny stuff. I'm very grateful for my sense of humor. I'm very grateful for funny things. And uh, the, the whole thing about regulating what's funny or not, it's going to fail. I, I, I find that funny, too. The jokes on, quote, unquote, them. Yeah, seriously. Oh, man, just like... <laughs> oh, I'm so... I'm so easily offended. I, I get it. I'm an oversensitive prick myself. I've tried to leverage my emotional state on other people all my life. I wrote the fucking book on this shit. It's manipulative. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. You're not fooling me. People are like, why are people like this? And I'm like, I know. I know exactly why. And please, look both ways before crossing the street. But yeah, I mean, I like this sense of humor and uh, geez, and I'm not going to have the postmodernity crowd leverage their oversensitivity on me trying to, with their provocative and uh, aggressive labeling saying, you're a ist, you're a phobe, you're, you're a bigot. No, you're just trying to leverage using uh, aggressive labeling. I see right through it. I mean, and it's, oh, thank goodness that's like, I hope that shit's coming to an end. It's been a trend, it's been going on for a couple of years and I'm grateful that it's reared its ugly head too. So you can see who the fuck is doing this shit. And you can go over there and you know, and uh, I don't know, I'm a pacifist. I'm not gonna fucking, uh, you know, advise any violence or anything. But in, in a romantic and robust and meaningful um non-violent way 
Stand up for yourself and tell these people to fuck off. Seriously. I'm grateful and blessed for the ability to tell these creeps to fuck off. I got no comp compunction. I got no shame for that. <laughs> you know, I'm from South Boston, Massachusetts. We invented the phrase, you got it coming. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but I'm very grateful for, uh, for my sense of humor. And I'm grateful for the funny people in my vlog sphere or my YouTube sphere. Uh, I like funny. Keep it coming. I think Cecil's a blast. Yeah, he's provocative. Yeah, he says wrong things and awkward things. But fuck it. He's funny. And he's a really nice guy, too. And that's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Team Cecil. That cash grab. <laughs> Alrighty. You have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday. And um, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm turning 50. It's a milestone. It's bittersweet because, yep. Yeah, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get down. But, um, going to have a good time. Going to be on Wes's show on the Saturday panel. Then I'm going to go out later that night with some old friends and go to the hockey game. Yeah, we're going to do that. It's going to be good. <clears throat> Thank you so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Hey, give me a birthday present. Subscribe to my growing little channel. That would make me happy. Thank you so much. And keep laughing. Keep funny. <laughs>